What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. It has been yet another week. Actually, it's been two. And I apologize for that. Last week was super, super crazy. One, my wife broke her arm. Two, we had to go to the border and renew our visas. So we had to go to the border for three or four days and then travel all the way back. For those of you that are new and don't know, my name is Trent Granger, a.k.a. Mr. Missionary Man. My family and I serve here in Zacatecas, Mexico as missionaries. And uh, today's Sunday. So we're looking forward to being in the house of the Lord today. As many of you know, we've moved our church building and we've moved our house into one combined building. Well, now we just got done moving all of our, our house stuff. Well, most of it. We've still got a few things at the other house. So I had to go all the way over to the other house to pick up some clothes and stuff this morning, pick up a few other things. But now it's time to head inside and set up for church and get ready for church. I know what you're thinking. Trent, where are you at? Well, I told you we moved. This is my new office. Yes, sir, Bob. This is my new office. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm going to give you guys a tour, a little B-roll tour. Here we go. So earlier I had mentioned that Stephanie had broke her arm and I didn't want to kind of gloss over that. So I just wanted to kind of touch on that for a moment. She's fine, by the way. Um, there was just some water. Oh, most all of the houses here in Mexico have tile floors and there was some water on the tile and she slipped and fell and she went to put her hand back. And when she did, it fractured her wrist. And uh, so she, but she's doing fine now. Um, she's only got about three and a half more weeks in the cast, in the, in the cast. The cast goes like all the way, almost all the way up her arm. But uh, then she'll be done with the cast and she'll be fine. The doctor said it's healing well and everything. So she's doing fine there. I just wanted to let you guys know she's okay. She's fine. No problems. This morning in church, we talked about walking with God. The title of my message was Enoch's Walk with God. And uh, it's just so important to have a walk with God. It's just so vitally important as a Christian to continually be walking with God every day. And I love the story that this little girl said one time. She said, God and Enoch were walking one day and they were walking and walking and walking. And they got so far that God said, hey, Enoch, we're closer to my house than we are yours. Why don't you just come on over to my house? And so they went to God's house instead of back to Enoch's. I know it's not good theology, but it just it's just a good story to show that Enoch walked with God. He had such a close walk with God. And let me encourage you, walk with God. You know, you don't have to have a flashy testimony. Some, you know, God saved you out of some deep sin. You don't have to have all that. My testimony personally is not all that flashy. I accepted Christ as my Savior when I was seven years old called to preach when I was 13, surrendered to the mission field when I was 18. And to be honest with you, I never really, never really fell into like real wicked sin. I was never rebellious towards God. I, I loved serving the Lord as a teenager. I loved going soul winning, doing those things, going to church. And I uh, never really rebelled against my parents or anything like that. And then today, God's using me on the mission field to start churches and to see people saved. I mean, it's it's not that flashy, but it's a good testimony. And I'm afraid many people are like, well, I've got to, you know, God's got to call me out of this in order for me to have a good testimony. That's not true. Just walk with God. At the end of the story of Enoch, the, the God sums it up basically by saying, and Enoch walked with God. May it be said of us that we walked with God. I want to end this vlog today with a time lapse from our roof, looking off our roof onto the Colonia, the, the neighborhood where we live in, so you guys can get a little glimpse of that. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay blessed. We'll catch you next time on the vlog.